Standard TCM 1002. Hi there, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight, we are looking at alien invasions. And up next, we have a sci-fi classic, one of the most influential science fiction films of the 1950s. From 20th Century Fox in 1951, it's the day the Earth stood still. The 1950s was a golden age for flying saucer movies, and this film is among the best, a movie against which others are still measured. As the story begins, people all over the world are astonished by the appearance of a UFO. The large saucer-shaped spacecraft eventually lands in Washington, D.C. A human-like creature emerges, telling the world he's come in peace. Seems benign enough, but turns out the humanoid is accompanied by a large, menacing robot who doesn't look much like a pacifist robot. Unlike many of the flying saucer movies from the 1950s, this was a big-time production from a major studio with a respected director at the helm, Robert Wise. The original plan was to give the lead to a major star, and both Spencer Tracy and Claude Rains were in the mix as potential leading men. But the studio opted to go in a different direction, giving the part to a mostly unknown British actor, Michael Rennie. The cast also includes a future Oscar winner, Patricia Neal, as well as Hugh Marlowe, who we saw earlier tonight in Earth vs. the Flying Saucers. Many alien films from the 1950s are kind of laughably bad. This is not even vaguely in that category. From 1951, here's the day the earth stood still. <laughs> 